Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Galactic Earth Dragon Kings and Queens of the Holy Grail Union. The Libran energies of balance and love are flowing into this realm through the Equinox Gateway, bringing us the Divine Union Codes both within and without. Shiva dances with Shakti through the cosmos. The Yin merges with the Yang. The Christ embraces the Magdalene and the eagle flies with the condor in Heros Gamos. As the great central sun continues to envelop Mother Earth with higher energetic light, Pachamama received two powerful activations today with massive earthquakes on the Ring of Fire. The first was a magnitude 6.2 earthquake in the west side of the Pacific Ocean, just north of the equator in Indonesia at 2052 UTC, and the second was on the east side of the Pacific Ocean, south of the Tropic of Capricorn in the South Pacific, with a magnitude 6.1 earthquake off the coast of Chile in South America at 2253 UTC. Gaia continues to release and resolve all that no longer serves her or all her children of the sun. All Starseed ground crew of the 144 also continue to release and purge all that no longer serves themselves or the collective. This is all in final preparations for our full collective quantum leap of consciousness into the new species we call Homo Luminous, golden beings of eternal life. In two days on the 25th of September, we will enter directly into the core of the Zolkin Zero Point, the galactic central sun, Hunabku. This synchronizes with the retrospective new moon in Libra. This will assist all lightworkers in the integration and recalibration of the intense and transforming energies over the last couple of months. We get a bird's eye view of our journey and all we have learned and grown through the lessons and challenges along our way. With the pure awareness of our Buddha consciousness, we open the eyes of our spirit to know all things in the oneness of our multidimensional infinite avatars of light. Aho! The blue rose of St. Michael blooms in the Garden of Eden. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor, share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 10 degrees, 20 minutes Virgo. The sun is at 1 degree, 6 minutes Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 2 degrees Libra. The light of the 6th race transmuted to the 7th. Very synchronic as we are transforming into the 7th race of the 7th sun. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 11 degrees Virgo. A boy molded in his mother's aspirations for him. From AstrologyWeekly.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Lisa Marie Wright, huge shifts, massive expansion across the whole globe. We are lighting it all up from the inside out. We are rocking this shift. We are golden. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray, within your heart there is a center point. It is there you will find peace, stability, clarity, and love. It is from here you can ride out the waves of life and joy. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Bro Thor the Light, Roberto Nunez. We are getting supercharged. We have completely disconnected ourselves from the matrix. Our energy is being sent directly to us from the love of creation now. Our energy is no longer being diverted or redirected. We are creating new beginnings with our pure hearts of divine abundance. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Katran. Full Akashic rewrite as we've cleared the inverted timelines. Our birth records history as we've known it. 
disintegrating as we embody our multidimensional avatar templates. Quantum field, all is now. We have always been, always will be death and rebirth. It's a belief. Many timelines collapsing today, many initiations passed, as well as nightly meetings for ten days now with Source and our Galactic Council. Choice points in every moment dictate the reality that will unfold. New realities manifested. As we've integrated shadow aspects within, balance manifests externally. Going to be a huge weekend for Quantum Leap into the next trajectory. Honor and gratitude to our mirrors. Divine Union, Sacred Union Codes, anchored weeks ago. Remember your life can change overnight. Mine just did. Surrender to the now moment. The best is yet to come. Sovereignty, 144,000. Magi, Grail Kings and Queens, it's about to be real. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christy Ashley. Equinox Blessings, Libra Love Incoming. Since the Lion's Gate portal, we have been releasing, clearing out so much, and with this came a roller coaster of emotions. We have been so deep in surrender and letting go of what no longer resonates, and although difficult at times, the hard work has paid off immensely. Breathe easy knowing that we are now emerging as a collective into a much more neutral and calming energy thanks to the diplomatic and peace-loving Libra frequency that is now blessing our hearts and homes during this time. The equinox holds the equilibrium between masculine and feminine day and night, and this allows us to live in a greater state of harmony with a fair and balanced perspective. Libra, the sensual and loyal lover, invokes passion and pleasure that brings restoration and rejuvenation to the heart, opening this beautiful space for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine to come together fully and anchor into their highest timelines. Sexual expression, deep soul connection, and creativity is heightened, and there is a softness and stillness felt here that enriches and nourishes the body and soul. Time to honor and give gratitude for this special time of year, and love, peace, and perfect trust, Christy Ashley. And from Divine Bro, Thor of the Light, Pars Kute. As we are now in the equinox time frame, the magnetosphere is building in particle plasma from our sun's solar blasting. This is an opportunity for greater relaxation and self-care, as well as for tuning in to the higher self, soul, and divine source frequencies and vibrations. By giving ourselves time to be, to take moments in stillness each day, allows the sacred reflections of understanding to arise within us. Within divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine sister of the light, Grandma Chandra. Now all your work is coming out of your head into your heart. Whatever you are creating is coming from the central sun into your sun, through your crystalline plane, directly into your hearts. This will be the biggest change after the equinox on the 22nd of September. This is the total shift of your end chain of creation. Your end of creation will not be filtered or blocked anymore by your mental activity. It will be pure and pulsating coming directly from your heart. You will finally start hearing your own voice and your voice will become stronger and stronger because your voice will be backed by the vibrations and tune of your heart. You will be able to communicate with others around you through your heart activity, heart chakra opening and heart chakra work. Your heart chakra will be working in tune with Gaia and in tune with all the new energies that are coming to the world right now. You will recognize each other by the work of your heart chakra, united and tuned together through your heart. Many will feel as if you are in this world naked without any clothes or protection around you. You don't need this protection anymore. That is the difference. Instead of losing your energy and trying to build, hide and code the messages, you can speak directly, openly, and put all the energy into what you want to say and do in this world. You are finally stepping into the world where you can live openly. You can send direct messages from your heart. Use all your energy to direct these messages. 
Visualize a big, happy, pulsating heart in unison with Gaia and the whole galaxy. Beautiful. Finally start living your life. Hugs and love to all of you, Grandma, from GrandmaChandra.com. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Post the equinox and weekend new moon energies. Dear friends, the energy of the upcoming post-equinox days will be merging with the new moon energy on Sunday the 25th. This weekend, the absence of the moon's light will be allowing a stronger energy flux from the galactic center, leading to deeper shifts within us. As we ride the intense post-equinox waves, our bodies might feel even more challenged by the new moon in Libra. So the end of September will feel a bit heavier than anticipated. Your bodies may feel lethargic, sleepy, manifesting skin and digestive issues as well as some anxiety and allergic reactions. Our energy fields are being pushed even further by the new moon so we can clear away everything that is preventing us from finding a renewed state of balance. Nevertheless, Sunday's new moon energy will also bring some relief, like a healing tonic. As we purge the old and unnecessary beliefs from our systems, the new moon energy will be assisting us to find balance in our inner divine light. This new moon will bring some sweetness and harmony to our hearts. However, the trick for us will be to focus on the light aspect at the same time that we experience the physical and emotional uncomfortable releases. This weekend under the dark night of the new moon, will be a great time for setting intentions from the heart. Try to focus on simplifying your life. Try to see the lightness in any burdens that are weighing on you. Allow the lightness of your heart to radiate through your being and into whatever issues feel complicated in your life. We are evolving into brighter and lighter timelines, which means clearing the old and making room for the new to enter our lives. Have a peaceful weekend, friends. Much love. From DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica. Incoming Energies For the path is complex, multidimensional and expanding. Tread gently and easily. Live each day calmly and patiently. Find this light way to assist the complexities of your light expansion all around you and within you. As your world view becomes multidimensional, you are required to balance the frequencies all around you. Some may retreat to the forest, remove themselves from highly populated areas. Others are called to stay and find balance amongst the frequencies. Every soul on a unique light path. Advanced souls should practice self-regulation of light balance and protect their personal light sphere. This is a recommended daily practice to ensure you are self-regulating your light field balancing the energies around you, for the pillar of light of you is powerful. Your role is to ensure your light frequency is strong and stable. Know when to retreat and rest. Bubble of light exercise. Connect your light field. Ground in light. Visualize a wonderful ball, sphere of light around you. Connect and bathe in this wonderful light. Ask for your soul team to assist your day in higher light guidance. Feel your light body in a harmonic space of light. Simply breathe in this centered light. For incoming light and expansion of you requires a balanced light view to balance expansion and energies of this reality. As we expand and live our journeys with love, light, family, the Arcturian Light Collective and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, we are immersed in a very harmonizing passage that helps us continue with our inner work of balancing opposite polarities. 1414 coming in. A lifetime task that as humans we all need to work on a daily basis. For it is how we ascend and move into a more synthesized state of being. The Libra moon on the 25th will conjunct Venus, which is a very important alignment that summarizes what many are experiencing at this time. Self-reconnection with their illumined selves and hence regaining self-appreciation for themselves and their unique path and for the ones who have already given this initial step 
a time to reconcile relationships or create more balanced ones. One of the most important steps to achieve graduation from the earth, as guides many times share, is to unify polarities and be able to create equal and harmonic relationships. As it is not until we master all this on our earth plane that we can begin a new journey in more evolved planes of existence. We are in a very important portal for us to work on three main levels, self-love, illumined relationships, and the third, if we have previously achieved the first ones, continue with the integration of plasma, as it is how we build our light body, as ascension does not only occur on a physical level, but on a non-physical as well, and we shall work with the twelve dimensional bodies that make us whole to achieve evolution. The crystals that guides invite us to work with during this Libra moon is citrine. This crystal is a wonderful companion to help us express ourselves, be empowered in who we are and our personal truth, clearing fears and doubts. On a more ethereal level, it helps the plasma energies in being properly conducted to our bodies, absorbing more light and helping it to move to our power center, the solar plexus chakra. Above all, it is one of the best stabilizing stones for us to work with, which is something Libra invites us to do. As a healing frequency, guides offer us the 740 hertz sound. This is a very powerful cleansing frequency for us to purify the body, detoxify, and rebalance it. Staying in our higher hearts as well is vital to support ourselves and others as we continue crossing the many veils of illusions and stepping into the unknown. For we may not remember, but we must trust in our soul compass, for it is always guiding us towards our, the next and perfect destination for us to experience a major growth, a time for us to finally manifest balance stabilization in all aspects of our bodies and lives, and move into new beginnings, understanding that we are always creating ourselves and physical lives anew, even though the illusion of stillness that we possess in our plane. Every day is a new life, therefore choose to fill it with loving thoughts and feelings, for all your seed will reach all. Within Infinite Love, Natalia Alba, from StarseedSoul.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Elise, Gaia Daily, September 23rd through the 26th, Forging a New Path. We are basking in powerful equinox energies with Mercury and the Sun together at zero degrees Libra. We are looking for a perfect balance and ideal love. Mercury and the Sun are trading places. Last week the Sun was in opposition to Neptune and Pisces and in trying to Pluto and Mercury has been opposing Jupiter. Now the Sun is coming into opposition with Jupiter and Mercury will retrograde back to 24 degrees to oppose Neptune. Mercury made this opposition with Neptune when he went into retrograde shadow back in August, when this whole chapter started. Mercury turning direct on October 2nd will bring Mercury in this opposition with Neptune for all of next week. It's a confusing placement, as we try to figure out up from down in our reality. The corresponding trine with Pluto and Capricorn is saying it's time to break any ties and contracts that are no longer serving. But we are so gaslit. How can we figure out what is good and what is bad? Mind control and programming have kept humanity deep asleep, but it's starting to break down. Supernovas are first to come out of the fog and stupor, and we need to get our act together in order to play our role in supporting others in this great awakening. Now in Libra, the sun is taking his turn in opposing Jupiter. Who we have been for everyone else is getting challenged by our desire to be free and go our own way. Supernova's deep pain from isolation over lifetimes is coming to the surface to be healed. Black Moon Lilith and Cancer has been revealing this wound of separation, but in sextile to Uranus and Taurus. We are seeing that coming into our gifts can heal this illusion and bring us back home to our true self. Sunday's new moon, happening at 2 degrees, 49 minutes of Libra, marks a new start in our relationship to relationship. 
It's a launch into learning to love again with an idealized vision of reawakened potential. Supernova souls are learning to honor themselves and care for themselves again so that they can make way for truly healthy and supportive relationships. We can feel that we are at the precipice of great change, or are we the great change? Either way, it's happening and nothing can stop it. It's a huge rearrangement of our priorities and values with Uranus and Taurus and square to Saturn and Aquarius. We have been feeling the effects of this transit since January 2021. This square also happened on June 14th and December 24th, 2021. We are in the final act of this transit, happening exact from October 2nd to October 12th, which is about stubborn structures that refuse to evolve and change. There is pressure on everything false or without foundation or basis. The lies are being revealed and we are seeing that nothing short of dramatic change on all levels of our existence is necessary. For supernovas, this is our call to come back into who we have been in the past, a spiritual leader and teacher. We must heal the past so we can overcome all fear and trauma programming in order to come back into our power. We are dropping all that no longer fits who we really are and it feels like free fall. But it's really a spiritual initiation back into the one. These Neptune oppositions are helping us to complete the Piscean Age and rewrite our story based on the light that we are, not the darkness that was projected upon us. It's time to drop it all and surrender into Source and Oneness and into our higher gifts. A new world is waiting, and we supernovas are forging the path ahead. From AdrianElise.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun enters Libra. Sun conjunct Mercury in Libra. Mercury retrograde re-enters Virgo. We reach a turn in the wheel of the year. Autumn arrives in the northern hemisphere, spring in the south. For all we experience equal day and night, a balancing of opposites. Light and dark, young and old, you and me, as above so below. Here we stand at the center, poised in perfect harmony, dancing on the axis of the world. And on this magical day and degree, Mercury meets the sun, ascends to the throne to receive instructions from Source. Soon he will fly down to each of us and whisper a golden nugget of wisdom in our ear. This is the midpoint of the retrograde, so we are equipped with knowledge that will enlighten the rest of this period. Mercury then backsteps into Virgo, where critical thinking skills are amplified and a practical approach suggested. Explore where healing or improvement is required. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 128, Yellow Spectral Star. Spectral is the name for the number 11 and its keywords are liberate, release, and dissolve. We are traveling through the white mirror wave spell currently and the yellow star is the challenge of the mirror. Because of the math involved in the Zolkeen, the eleventh day is always the challenge. This means we get respite from whatever agenda was set at the beginning. So release yourself from truth seeking, liberate yourself from this task. Today is less serious and that is a welcome break. Today is yellow star, which represents beauty, art, and elegance. You have permission to celebrate beauty today. So indulge in stargazing, wear something that makes you feel beautiful, spruce up your space and add some sparkle, pass on a beautiful smile and make being alive an art form. Today is not about taking yourself too seriously, or digging deep into your soul or searching for truth. Appreciating the beautiful world about you and the people in your life is what it is all about. So be a star today and allow yourself to shine bright. You will feel liberated. It is an interesting combination of number and day. This suggests that by indulging in art or appreciating beauty can lead to releasing. Allow the artist inside of you to be set free and express yourself. The guide today is also a yellow star. So follow that guiding starlight, which illuminates our path. Now we can easily see which way to go, no stumbling in the dark. 
It's a bright, sparkly day. Whatever a day is guided by itself, the message of the day is more concentrated because there is no outside influence. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Spectral Star, 11 Lamat, Keen 128, 23rd of September 2022, Equinox, Liberating Art and Beauty, 23 9 2022 equal 5 9 6 equal 5 15 equal 5 6 equal 11 equal 2 day codes 23 royal star of the lion strength protection grace 5 freedom liberation change transformation movement 11 portal polarity illumination doorway 2 partnership cooperation duality month year codes 9. Completion, Service, Destiny, Divine, Humanity, Grace. 15. Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 128 equal 11 equal 2. 11. Portal, Duality, Doorway. 2. Partnership, Cooperation. The spectral tone is the tone number 11, and Keen 128 adds up to 11, and our day total adds up to 11. Thus we have an 11, 11, 11 triple gateway on this equinox portal, huge illumination codes. This opens a doorway to release the past, coupled with a 23, 5 code, giving us the courage to break free and liberate our new beautiful lives. The spectral tone also acts to liberate, giving us a double freedom code. The two-day total highlights partnerships, twin flames, and divine partners, all leading up to the Libra New Moon on the 25th, 26th September as we cross the threshold into Libra season. The season of love, romance, harmony, and partnerships. The mirror wave spell will magnify our reflections through our relationships today very potent correcting energies today is a very powerful day for liberation from disharmonious relationships and toxic emotions to release more beauty into our world september equinox today we are liberating our new beautiful life through harmonious relationships bringing back balance to our lives as we transition through this powerful equinox portal Day 11 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we are focused on liberating our inner beauty through uncovering and dissolving discordant emotional patterns that white mirror is reflecting in the core of our being, particularly in relation to our partnerships and relationships. Tone of creation spectral is the 11th tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. This is a very powerful opportunity to release core wounding and move forward, fearlessly free from obstructions. How brilliant on the equinox portal. The spectral action together with the 11 and 2 codes focuses on family harmony. This is putting your relationships under the magnifying glass for close examination. These very powerful energies work to create final closure, dissolving all impediments to you finally claiming your true inner beauty. Tone 11 symbolizes a gateway in polarity, inviting you to step through into a new reality where time equals art and life is beautiful. Today's question is what do I need to release and dissolve in order to liberate more beauty and art expressing through the new harmonic matrix? Divine blessings for a beauty-filled day of liberation and celebration. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 128. Yellow Spectral Star. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to beautify. Releasing art. I seal the store of elegance. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. 
and on this powerful day of activations transformations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're feeling what you're seeing your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work so if you'd like to help support us our work and mission then Help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world. You can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Els Minez, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, Zodiac Goddesses Healing Jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful code and affirmations from Blue Rose Oracle. Affirmations for today. I am aligning with the equinox energies and gifting myself the space to integrate and process all downloads and upgrades. New templates of crystal and light are flowing all around my energy field ready for me to expand into with ease and grace. I am clearing old patterns and releasing templates as I enter into a new cycle of rebirth and regrowth. I am planting new seeds and nurturing myself with loving kindness as I shed old growth layers and enter into the inner realm of transformation and creation. A beautiful lilac and pink flame is anchoring around Gaia, held aloft by the interdimensional crystalline dragons who are supporting the sacred spinal column of the planet which is pulsating with activation wavelengths as the song and dragon lines expand and shimmer with the equinox energies. These ancient golden green intersecting lines are multidimensional pathways infused and encoded with light codes of vibrational hymns that pulse in alignment with the planetary heart field. Each sacred pathway a reservoir of ancestral and tribal memories woven into the grids as the footprints of all who have walked before us leave energetic echoes and activations as imprints and downloads which we receive through the collective consciousness field as the lilac and pink flame glows around gaia many of the holographic layers attached to the past timelines are being cleared as the dream weavers begun to stitch new threads of awakening and expansion into the great dreamscapes of the quantum fields. We are expanding through the layers of our own awareness, transcending the pathways and patterns that have been part of our journey to sovereignty and self-love as we come into full union and communion with the fullness of our divinity. Walk barefoot upon the grass today and support the golden light rays of energy that are activating the planetary grid formations. Pachamama is sending waves of healing light frequencies through the dragon lines as she holds ceremony for another cycle to turn upon the cosmic loom. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed weekend as we journey into the galactic core of the Zolkin, Hunabku, and the power of the new moon. As we integrate the shadows of the past and make ourselves whole again. And a real quick message from the Great Spirit to transmit to you. If you haven't seen the movie from 1980, Resurrection, where a woman has a near-death experience and comes back with healing powers, if you get the chance, check out this movie. There's a very special message for you at the end of the movie. 
Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.